So let's talk today about magnesium and eye problems. Uh, I was putting the word diabetes underneath this because there's such a, you know, the the ocular space and eye problems are such a reality and, and um, the dio, diabetogenic syndrome, you know, where we're creating this syndrome X, I think it's called, you know, high sugar syndrome that we're in. Uh, leading to eye problems. And the biggest reason is because the capillaries are so small there that any sort of stickiness in the blood or uh, this is going to create problems there where it's the thinnest, right, um, in the brain, but also there in the in the eyes. The eyes are the smallest little capillaries. And, and here we go with the difficulty of getting the blood to that level um, properly. And so um, nutrition and, and, and oxygen and everything else. So let's see um, what we come up with here, magnesium um, and how that plays a role. Um, not only, um, well, let's just start with topically because uh, we'll start there and then go into the systemic because topically you can apply magnesium to eye problems. Um, like you can do an eye bath, I think it's called, um, where you mix it with maybe 70 or 80% water. You can taste it. Too, to get the taste or to get the to feel of what you're supposed to be using it'll be a little bit bitter but not too much and then that will work for the eye bath right and so that you can bathe in there and you can even open the eyes depending on the level of bitterness and you can test that now I wouldn't do it pure because pure will totally blow up the you know it'll be all red and everything and, and this stuff is very concentrated we don't use diluted stuff like a lot of these companies do so um, so you have to dilute. So that's just one thing for like eye infections or conjunctivitis or, you know, like pink eye and, you know, um, or even if in the, the ORL sphere, like ear infections, different things you can use this for. It's very powerful. A few drops, it feels super warm when it goes in and it just, you know, destroys everything, at least on, on, at the bacterial level. And then the magnesium does its own job. And it's got a molecular weight, which brings it really deep down into the tissues. Um, it's like 30% heavier than water. Um, so um, that's just like on this kind of you know topical thing, you know, um, for certain types of things. Um, of course, real eye problems and cataracts and um, vision, everything from vision to 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 blurry uh, vision to reduction in um, your 2020 vision over the years and what's happening there and uh, which is also delivery systems of nutrition and oxygen and everything else like that's another topic but that can be addressed through magnesium in a more general way so that doesn't have to be done locally that's done through doing the application of 10 to 20 pumps per day and then allowing that to start hot elevating the magnesium levels pretty much ubiquitously in the body over the time that we do it and we keep doing it for like five to six months and it really starts to build up it's a very powerful deficiency it's one we cannot overcome with just our thinking and chocolate and bananas and whatever it's it's much deeper than that so um so magnesium has been you know there's been many studies um, one of the things I kept from one of the studies I read I'll read you a line here it says magnesium prevents blood vessels from constricting thus warding off rises in blood pressure strokes and heart attacks magnesium inhibits the release of thromboxane a substance that makes blood platelets stickier so this is well known the the antiplatelet anti stickiness factor of magnesium it was even done given for diabetes before we had all the synthetic medication or before we even had pig insulin and and um, which I think I don't know exactly when that came around but that was maybe the 50s or the 60s and so uh, maybe the late 50s but so we haven't before that we gave magnesium you know and that was helpful to um, to actually thin the blood it was like a natural blood thinner before we had all these these myriad of blood thinners which have other effects which are not healthy um, so this is a natural blood thinner thinner um, it also is a natural calcium channel blocker which allows for calcium deposition to um, well allows for the, the calcium to not be able to de depose inside the cell or build out the membrane without the magnesium which is a flexible piece of that calcium calcio magnesium structure and it allows it to um, bring that flexibility in there that otherwise would have just been calci calcified and calcify the calcification process which destroys the cell membrane and then this leads to you know this is the cell membrane is is the eye and everything else this is the, the internal
piece of that. So that's going to be key. The, the thinness of the blood and the, the calcium blocker, natural calcium channel blocker, is going to be a key here when it comes to this level of thin capillaries. Uh, this is where they're going to play out their most. And then also, uh, as I mentioned in another podcast on anemia, this is also going to come through with how the platelets are formed through the structure of magnesium. Magnesium also forms the structure of things, including the eyes. Um, and so that is going to create, um, that creates a structure um, which allows for um, the eyes to, to, to have, well, not just the eyes, I guess you could say any structure, um, allows for a better um, uh, flow of electrical current flow of electricity and flow of magnetism through that structure. You need the minerals to be widely dissipated through that structure. Not only do minerals do that, they're also antimicrobial. They have other like, I call it distributed executive, well distributed executive. They have other capacities that keep us from, they keep everyone armed instead of just having the police that have to come out and fight the disease. You know, they keep the whole system intelligent. And so, um, so that's more of an immune thing, but in general, um, uh, as we're speaking of the eyes, you know, this constriction uh, and this stickiness is going to play a key role. That's going to be it. And the calcium channel blocking. Like those two features of it is going to allow for dilation, the cell to keep its dilation, to keep that open, to be able to detoxify, to be able to breathe in a certain sense, and to be able to keep up those exchanges without being destroyed through the calcification and oxidation. So these are two features that magnesium offers. And and b being is that it's so well known in the diabetic world and that the eye problems are, are very well known there too. Also in other communities, I mean the Jewish, like you know, the Jewish community with the glasses, the famous glasses, a lot of eye problems there too. Um, and those are famous ethnopathologies uh, that are well known. Uh, diabetes as well in the Jewish community um, as well known and I think in the Arab community as well so there's different other areas of specific things that we can use this for but but um, just know that the magnesium plays two key roles there in thinning that out and allowing that to flow through naturally um, so what I would recommend is always getting the best stuff don't get the cheap stuff uh, there's stuff called Zextine, genuine Zextine, true, authentic, and ancient, and Permian. Here's the deal. They dilute all their products, and on top of that, they're chemically treated. And chemical, there's a solvent extraction because you're not working with a natural base Bishafite stone, Bishafite, sorry, Bishafite stone, which um, is a natural magnesium chloride. This is only coming from... Vindam in Holland where they have this natural sea salt pillow formation below them and it's an abundance of it but it's a rare thing in and of itself but there's a lot of it and so it's million it's uh, thousands of years of of supply it's just you have to know about it so don't get the cheap stuff it has to have the Zextine inside logo on there otherwise it's not worth anything and um, or it may be worth something just the magnesium deficiency but you're not going to get the full spectrum you're not going to get this high level of chelation and uptake, and, and you're probably getting diluted stuff too on top of that. So we don't do that. It's in glass bottles. The glass bottles show sign of quality, no endocrine disruptors. It's not just a cosmetic feature, ecological feature. It's because the magnesium molecule, molecule attaches to these endocrine disruptors and pulls them out of the body, unless there's already a bunch of endocrine disruptors attached to it because it's oxidizing in the plastic and it's being shipped out in a, in a million little soft plastic user in plastics to be consumed by everyone and so this is multiplying the surface area by thousands and that's increasing by thousands of percent the contamination of endocrine disruptors which leach from the plastic so get the right stuff it's only three bucks a week come check us out at theheartoftradition.com we also have many health tips for free